Well, it's uh, O dark 30. Well, actually, 4:56. Means it's time to head out to the Hamfest. Well, the horizon is starting to get a little brighter. Uh, the sun should be up in about a half an hour. And there's a deer walking through the parking lot. Righty, well here is the high school. Good thing we're only about 10 or 11 minutes away uh, from the Hamfest site, so we didn't have to get up too early. A little after 5 o'clock, and uh, getting there really early because I'm bringing uh, a lot of the tables that are going to be used by some of the vendors, and the club table, and the announcement table, and the VEs. But uh, looks like we're going to have a beautiful day. Uh, high 70s, low 80s. Uh, looks like we're going to get some nice blue sky. So it should be a good day for a ham fest. All right, early morning, getting set up. One or two vendors already here, but uh, you should see a good crowd later on this morning. We well, got some test equipment available on the club table. And it looks like my friend Bob has got some tubes. Yes. What do you say, Bob? You got tubes? Oh, I got lots of tubes. How many you want? <laughs> yes, we lost our longtime club member and great mentor, Drew. Uh, this past year and we'd always uh, sit in this spot at the Hamfest uh, greeting people and providing good information and great stories so uh, we just have a nice uh, chair sitting out here for him to remember uh, his presence here at the Hamfest. Pretty good crowd still got a you know a decent number of uh, vendors here got uh, ARRL here uh, KJI is one of our vendors that's there along with the club table but uh, we looked out with the weather and everything uh, really worked out well for the Hamfest this year. So hopefully uh, things will return back to normal. We'll start doing more and more of this. And sometimes we get to see some really cool cars at a ham fest. There's a 66 Barracuda, the 273 V8, in uh, really nice shape. And you just don't see these cars. So uh, very cool to have brought this out to the ham fest here. And of course, it's right next to my friend Bob's radio flyer. This is a Pontiac Sport Wagon. So you might have, the old Vista Cruiser had that uh, sport roof like this, but uh, I had never seen one of these Pontiac Sport Wagons until Bob got this thing. It's got like a Skylark front end, but uh, the back end looks like a, a Vista Cruiser wagon. Just a real cool machine. Bob does a lot of old radio work, and he... Uh, put the radio flyer uh, moniker on it here. Very cool. There's another interesting vehicle. It says Rover because he's got that thing outfitted to go and all over the country and maybe sit in some rare grid squares and work people from those rare grid squares. Uh, it looks like on a lot of uh, VHF and UHF given the size of the antennas there. Continuing the theme of unusual vehicles at Hamfests. <laughs> There's something you don't see every day. Chevy. It's a Chevy motor. Interesting. Yep, VTEC. Look at that. Crazy. Nice little headers on. I was looking at that. That's a good shot. Every carry is built out with it. Very cool. There's Pete, yeah. one of my favorite guys at the Hamfest. Say hello, Pete. Hello, Pete. <laughs> Pete is the manual man. You need manuals for anything. You talk to Pete. Go Thank you. Check out manualman.com. I'm, I'm, I'm a very impoverished person. So <laughs> any help you can give me, I would greatly appreciate it. We'll do what we can. <laughs> well, things are starting to wind down here at the Hamfest. And uh, some of the vendors are leaving. Some of the more commercial vendors are still set up here. 
but I gotta wait around till everybody's gone so I can grab these tables up, load them up, and get them back to the rental place. All right, we got most of the tables all loaded up here. Just waiting for our last vendor to clear his stuff off the tables so we can load them back in the truck and bring them back to the rental place. And that's a wrap from the 2021 Raritan Valley Radio Club Ham Fest in Piscataway, New Jersey. The weather held out good. We'll see you all next year.